Hi, I'm Manny Vellon. I'm the CTO of Likewise Software. And today I'm going to show you Likewise Open. I'm going to show you how to download it from our website, install it, and then how to join your Linux machine to Active Directory. I'm showing this on Red Hat today, but I could just as easily show it to you on Ubuntu or SUSE or any of the other 125 platforms that we support. So to get started, the first thing that you want to do is go to the Likewise Software webpage. And as you can see on our homepage, we can download Likewise Open from here. And it's going to ask you for some registration information. So the first thing you need to do in the download page is find the version that corresponds to your version of Linux, Unix, or Mac. And I see over here the Red Hat logo, so I'm guessing it's somewhere around there. You can see that we support various different versions of Linux, either old kernels or new kernels. Up here we see that this version is a 32-bit version for any kernel more recent than Linux 2.4. So that's the version I'm going to download. And you'll see that there's an optional package here to download as well, which is the graphical domain join utility. I'm going to go ahead and download that as well. And as soon as those are done, on our desktop we see that we have two uh, icons for the two different things that we downloaded. Uh, although these contain RPMs, they are not themselves RPMs. They're actually executable programs that we can run. And first thing I have to do is I have to make them executable. And of course I can do that from the desktop, but it's also uh, just as easy to uh, do it from the command line if you know how to do a Chamad program. So let me do this to both. And now that I've made them executable, let's first start off by installing Likewise Open itself. So I'll double click on that. That will take me through a graphical installer. And by the way, for some of our other platforms, we have some non-graphical installers. And typically Solaris, AIX, HP UX are frequently running without any graphical a subsystem at all. These same installers will also work in character mode if they detect that there is no graphics manager running. Okay, so the setup of the main application is completed. Now let's also install the other package, which is the graphical domain join utility. And once again, we go through the same steps. And you'll see that an icon's been added to the desktop, the Likewise Domain Join tool. Those of you familiar with Windows know that the first thing you have to do to be able to authenticate against Active Directory is to join your machine to Active Directory. Now what joining does isn't uh, too important, just know that you've got to do it, but if you are interested, what join does is it actually creates a machine account for the computer in Active Directory, allowing that machine to later on talk to Active Directory with encrypted secure credentials. In order that we can successfully join a machine to Active Directory, there's some things that we should verify first. One is we have to know what domain we're going to join the machine to. And one, we should make sure that the Unix or, or uh, Linux or Mac machine can actually talk to that domain. So I'm going to do a couple of commands here. First of all, I'm going to use NSLOOKUP. And I'm going to make sure that my machine is properly configured so that it can resolve my domain. The domain I'm going to join is likewisedemo.com. If you do NSLOOKUP and you get an error that it can't resolve the address, the first thing you have to do is you have to fix your network configuration to make sure that your computer can resolve the domain name. In this particular case, this computer has been set up so that its DNS uh, is already pointing at Active Directory, so it uses Active Directory for its name resolution, which uh, simplifies things greatly. The next thing that you should do is to verify that you can uh, actually send packets to that address. And if I uh, ping likewise demo similarly, it should work as you can see here. And if that were to fail, 
uh, that would imply that there was something wrong about your network configuration where you did not have proper network reachability in terms of being able to talk to the domain controller. Diagnosing and fixing any problems there is beyond the scope of this short demo, but uh, you'd probably want to check your routing, your gateways, and, and uh, any hardware that might sit between you and Active Directory. All right, so now that we've verified that our network is set up properly and that we can talk to the domain controller, let's run the Likewise Domain Join tool. And here I'm running the graphical version. There's also a non-graphical version. And it's going to come up and it's going to first show us our current computer name, uh, RHEL5. Uh, it is important that you have a valid computer name here. Active Directory insists that computer have unique names and uh, later on uses these names to refer to computers. So if you've never renamed yours and it's called localhost, you're going to want to pick a new name and type it into that first field. In my case, rel 5 is just fine. The domain I'm going to join is likewise demo, so I'll fill that in here. Down at the bottom, we're allowed to specify whether we want to join a particular Active Directory organizational unit or whether we should uh, just put the computer into the standard uh, computers container. I'm going to leave it in the standard computers container. There's also an option down here as to whether we want the domain join tool to modify the hosts file. In most cases you don't have to worry about that, but you may want to turn that option on and off if you know what you're doing. Now we're going to click on join domain. At this point it's going to ask us for the credentials of somebody on that domain who's allowed to join machines to Active Directory. It suggests the administrator username, but in fact uh, that's not necessary. Most Active Directory domains are set up so that anybody can join Active Directory. So I'm going to use my own credentials for that purpose. And I'm going to click OK. And in a few seconds, the domain join tool comes back and tells me that I've successfully joined the domain. Now that we've got the machine joined to Active Directory, what can we do? Well, now we can log into the machine with our Active Directory credentials instead of with local accounts. So currently, I'm logged in as root, but I can use SSH, for example, to log into my machine with AD credentials. So you'll notice in my SSH command, instead of specifying mvelin as my account name, I specify likewise demo backslash backslash mvelin. I'm prefixing my username with my short AD domain name, likewise demo. Uh, the normal form is uh, likewise demo backslash mvelin. I have to put two slashes in order to escape it uh, pro appropriately for my Unix shell and I'm prompted for a password and I type in my Active Directory password and I'm logged on successfully. If I type who am I, you can see that I'm now uh, logged in as likewise demo mvelin. Uh, my directory is uh, has been created for me and as you can see uh, it's created with the uh, appropriate uh, username and group as owning it. Uh, in addition to logging in through SSH, of course, I can also log in uh, interactively. When logging in interactively, since I'm not typing into a shell, this time I don't need to escape my domain name. So it's just likewise demo slash mvelin. And you can see that I've uh, logged in uh, that way as well. So one other thing is now that I've logged in successfully with my Active Directory credentials, uh, the other thing that Likewise Open has done, in addition to enabling AD-based authentication, it's set up SSH uh, to perform single sign-on. So now that I have valid AD credentials, if I log into um, my own machine again, this time you see I'm not prompted for credentials at all because SSH is what's called a Kerberos aware application and it can reuse my credentials without uh, any password prompting. As you can see I'm still likewise demo mvelin. That's a lot easier than trying to redistribute keys and use key based authentication with SSH. So that's the uh, short demo of how to use uh, likewise open for authenticating against, against Active Directory. 
in addition to Likewise Open, Likewise Software also has a separate product called Likewise Enterprise, which adds additional features uh, beyond authentication. It adds group policy and other features that uh, let you better control your UIDG assignment uh, in Unix. So for more information, please go to www.likewisesoftware.com. Thanks.